Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Astrid Padasare. In this video, we are going to discuss the answers for those questions that has been asked in BARC Bio since examination. This is an unofficial answer key. Till now, they didn't release the official answer key with regarding to BARC Bio since examination. So first question is, which of the following releases maximum energy? So the correct answer for this question is that option number A, that is when ATP, it get converted into ADP, then it will be releasing a high amount of energy. Because we all know ATP is an energy currency of cell and it is an highest amount of energy containing molecule. Next is limitation, limitation in spatial resolution due to diffractions and aberration does not apply to which of the following technique. The correct answer is AFM that is AFM means atomic force microscopy and it is a technique used for imaging the surfaces of sample at atomic level by using a physical probe. The main advantage of this particular AFM technique is that it does not use any optical lenses or else it won't use any kind of electron beam for irradiation of your sample. So that is the reason. It does not suffer from any kind of limitation in spatial resolution arising due to diffractions and aberration. Next is initial event in mRNA decay. The correct answer is deadenylation. So the de mRNA decay pathway is characterized by the uh, initiation of this particular deadenylation followed by deadenylation only decapping will be started. So if you don't know what is mean by deadenylation means it is a degradation of your mRNA 3 point poly A tail. Next is E value in BLAST algorithm. So you should know BLAST algorithm is represented, the uh, quality of alignment is represented by S score or BLAST score. BLAST score is a measure of similarity. So E value is kind of probability value which will be uh, measuring the significance of alignment. Okay. So if the smaller the E value means the more significant the BLAST score which means if BLAST score increases and ultimately the E value will be decreases. Next is pectin and pectinases. They have given a few statements. Find out the incorrect one. So pectin is a branched heteropolysaccharide consisting of long chain galacton segment. Next is it, it is a correct option. Pectin is a heteropolysaccharide. Next is about the pectinases. So pectinases, the mechanism of action is that they depolymerize the pectin by hydrolysis. It is also a correct thing. And pectin is present in plant. Yes, pectinases are present in fungi because pectin is only present in plants, whereas pectinolytic enzymes are present in fungi. So all the three options is correct. So what about the incorrect one? The last option is actually, I don't know whether in the question they had, in the option they had given neutral and natural sugar. So actually pectin contain a neutral sugar like rahamanose, arabinose, galactose and xylose. Whereas in option, I don't know whether it is a neutral or natural. If it is given as a natural mean, then this particular option is an incorrect one. Next is RNA polymerase 1. They ask us to find the incorrect statement about the RNA polymerase 1. So, RNA polymerase 1 is present in nucleolus. It is a correct option. And next here they mention it transcribes 5 s ribosomal rRNA. Okay. But if you check RNA polymerase 1 will be transcribing your 28 years uh, ribosomal RNA 5.8. 18 years ribosomal rRNA. So, this particular statement is a correct one. They are asking which is an incorrect statement. So, option B is correct. Okay. Regarding to this 5 years ribosomal RNA, it is transcribed by your RNA polymerase 3. Next is with regarding to protein A in Staphylococcus aureus. What is the function of this particular protein A? So, if you take about Staphylococcus aureus, they bind to the FC region of this IgG antibody through the expression of this particular protein A. And that is the reason why this particular protein A is employed in affinity chromatography. Next, the sweetness of honey gradually decreases higher temperature due to conversion of. So, it is due to conversion of this beta D pyranose form of fructose to this beta D furanose form. So, when the fructose that is beta D pyranose is the most sweetest form of fructose, when it is can converted into beta D furanose form that is pyran ring when it is converted into furan ring of fructose, then it will be leading to sweetness or less in amount of sweet. Okay, the sweetness of honey will be start to decrease. So, there is a conversion of this beta D pyranose to beta D furanose. Next is margarine is the adulterating butter. They ask us to find which of the following statement is correct. So the correct statement is margarine is more unsaturated than butter. Okay, so butter is a saturated fat whereas this margarine is a unsaturated fat. Okay, rest of the statement are absolutely incorrect because here they just mentioned margarine is obtained from fermented milk. No, and it is also mentioned that margarine is a mixture of milk and cod liver oil. Margarine is made up of vegetable oil. So, this margarine is generally extracted from uh, corn uh, kernel and it is also extracted from soybean oil. So, it generally produced from a vegetable oil. Okay, whereas regarding to this butter, it is made up of milk and cream. So, the correct answer is margarine is more unsaturated than butter. Next is there, there is a question regarding to invariant chain of MHC 
I don't know the correct option, but let me tell you two important functions of this particular invariant chain of this FXC. So, invariant chain play an important role in assembly and intracellular transport of your MHC. Okay, now at the same time, it is also employ, in, involvement in the peptide selection. Okay, next is a special segment called clip that is class 2 associated uh, peptide, invariant peptide. This particular class clip will be bind to the antigen peptide binding site of your class 2 MHC molecule. It will bind until the class 1 M, class 2 MHC molecule reach out the intracellular compartment that contain a peptides from internalized antigen. Okay, so generally this particular invariant chain, they protect the MHC by binding to self endogenous peptide. Okay, so this particular invariant chain, they are involved in limiting or preventing the MHC molecule from binding to the self endogenous peptide. Next, there is an important question that is asked about the pasteurization process of milk, which particular technique, which particular enzyme is employed. The correct answer is alkaline phosphatase enzyme is employed. So, when you take pasteurized milk, this particular enzyme will be uh, inactivated, whereas in raw milk, this particular enzyme will be present. Okay. So, the main principle of this particular alkaline phosphatase status is that in raw milk, this particular enzyme will be present. As I mentioned you earlier, alkaline phosphatase enzyme will be present only in the raw milk. So, when we get react with this particular substance, substrate called as disodium para nitrophenyl phosphate, it will be releasing the phenol which will be producing a yellow colored compound. So, this particular test is a kind of calorimetric type air test employed in dairy industry in order to determine whether the milk has been properly pasteurized or not. Next, there is an important question as been asked about recombination process. They ask which protein is important in resolving the holiday structure. The correct answer is RUV C is a protein which is actually an endonuclease. So, many of you are stating about this REC BCD enzyme. So, this REC BCD enzyme is also present in E. coli only and it is having two functions. It is an helicase at the same time it is a nuclease. So, it will be initiating the repair of double standard break by homologous recombination. So, here they are asking which particular protein is involved in resolving a holiday structure then ultimately the correct answer is RUV C. Next is pseudopodia. They ask us which following pseudopodia will be having a branched extension. The correct answer is philopedia. So, here I had given a following statement. So, based on the appearance, a pseudopedia classified into four important types. Okay. So, if you take this philopedia, it is a slender and it is a branching structure. Okay. So, here they are asking about a branched extension. So, ultimately the correct answer is philopedia. Next, there is one question that has been asked about food allergy. Food allergy belong to which type of hypersensitive and mediated by which type of uh, uh, antibody present on mast cell? The correct answer is type 1. Food allergy is mediated by type 1 hypersensitivity and this type of hypersensitivity is mediated by IgE antibody. So, this IgE will be mediating a immune response which include allergy, asthma, conjunctivitis, dermalitis, and anitis. At the same time, it also mediates few allergic diseases like immune response to foreign antigen which include drug allergies and food allergies. Okay? So, food allergy will be a type 1 hypersensitive mediated by IgE. Next, which of the following process does not occur in endoplasmic reticulum? So, first is N-link glycosylation. So, here you can able to find N-link glycosylation will be occurring in endoplasmic reticulum whereas O-link protein glycosylation will be occurring in Golgi. Next is regarding the disulfate bond. Disulfate bond formation is also occurring in this AR or ER prior endoplasmic reticulum only. Next is regarding to this ubiquitination. Ubiquitination is also uh, occurring in the cytosolic side of the endoplasmic reticulum. So, the correct answer is phosphorylation does not occur occur in the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. So, then you ask me where this phosphorylation will be occurring means this particular phosphorylation which is again a post translation modification and it happens it occurs in cytosol or nucleus on the target protein. Okay. So, it won't occur in the endoplasmic reticulum. Next is identify the odd one out. So, correct answer is EMBL whereas EMBL is a primary a sequence database whereas this emotif, cath and prose they are coming under a secondary structure. They generally hold a motif and domain of a protein whereas this EMBL is a nucleotide sequence database. Next is fungal spore question has been asked. So, here you can be able to find example of asexual spore which includes sporangiospore, conidospore. So, if you take first option, uh, they just mentioned a sporangiospore is an asexual and it's enclosed. So this is the correct option. So, here you can be able to see sporangiospore is an example of asexual spore and it is produced in a sac-like structure called sporangia. So, this particular answer is the correct thing. Whereas, if you take this ascospore, uh, so if you take that particular thing, it is an asexual spore. But here they just mentioned it is an asexual spore. So, you can completely eliminate option number B. Whereas, if you take option number C, which include basidospore, again basidospore is the 
sexual spore yes it is a correct option it is coming under a basidium spore it's a sexual spore but it is enclosed in a basidium but here they have given it is not enclosed so you can eliminate this particular option also next is conidospore of course this conidia spore doesn't enclose any kind of sacless structure but it is coming under asexual category but here they have mentioned it is a sexual spore so the correct answer is sporangiospore which is an asexual and it is enclosed in a membrane called a sac called sporangium next is udicot like uh, arabidopsis tomato lateral root arise from so lateral root will be arising from pericycle of the primary root next is all are cofactor for the spiruvate dehydrogenase complex except the correct answer for this particular question is biotin okay whereas if you take this uh, tpp that is thiamine pyrophosphate lipoyl co lipo lipoic acid or uh, coenzyme a or F all are cofactor for the spiruvate dehydrogenase which is a complex which is made up of three important subdivision so you should read about this particular enzyme this particular question has been asked you can find this particular question in gate excel gate bt and even csar examination so the correct answer is biotin which is not a cofactor for the spiruvate dehydrogenation next they were asking one question regarding to water loss from tips of grasses which are particular organ is responsible the correct answer is hydrothodes which is a granular tissue which is composed of modified somata and this particular hydrothode they will be permanently open okay so you should note about that particular thing this particular same question you can find in csr so last year september 2022 paper if you refer means same question has been asked in csr and the main function of this particular organ is that it will be eliminating excess water through the process called gutation okay so this particular question the speciality of this particular uh, uh, thing is that it will be connecting your plant vasculature to the external environment so that's the reason why this particular organ is also an entry site for several vascular pathogen affecting the plant next is mantle soil Altogether is commonly used as a selective media and differential growth media for isolating which organism? It is Staphylococcus because it is a selective medium because it will be holding a NaCl salt in there. Whereas uh, if you take the Staphylococcus alone, can able to grow in the presence of 7.5 percentage of sodium chloride, which is present in this particular agar. Whereas rest of other organism will be inhibited. That's why it is called a selective medium. At the same time. It, this particular mannitol is a fermentable carbohydrate source. Okay, so only the Staphylococcus aureus will be growing on this particular medium, and they will be fermenting the mannitol to produce this yellow color colonies. Whereas coagulase negative species of Staphylococcus or some other species, they will not, they don't have a capacity to ferment this mannitol, and they will be producing a red color colonies. Okay, so how color will be determined means in the media, the bile salt will be present, mannitol will be present. At the same time, they will be incorporating the phenol red. Okay, as a color indicator. Next, they are asking about the type of signal. So here they have given, they have given proline, proline, lysine, 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 arginine, lysine, valine. So this particular signal is important to transport substances. Uh, they are import, they are involving in transporting the substances into the nucleus. So it is an import nucleotide signal, nucleus signal. Okay. So this particular signal will be present in all those substance or all those chemical molecules that are uh, transported that are destined to get enter into the nucleus. So this particular signal signal is for importing substances into the nucleus okay next is vacuum packaging by gamma radiation and by heating at 10 degrees celsius for 10 minutes will be cleaning so this vacuum packaging is generally employed in killing only aerobic bacteria it won't kill uh, uh, anaerobic bacteria okay so this vacuum packaging is involved in killing only your aerobic bacteria next there is some question regarding to nmr isotopes the correct answer is uh, n15 and carbon 13 are generally employed for nmr studies okay because they can able to spin the magnet Okay, so that's the reason why they are employed for the NMR studies. Next, what is the function of eth ethylene hormone? Find out the incorrect one. Okay. So for this particular question, if you ask me the correct answer means, I will be telling you each and thing. First thing is that it will be releasing a dormancy. Absolutely, this is a correct option. Ethylene is involved in releasing the dormancy. Next thing is that it is involved in root and sh shoot and root growth and differentiation. But this particular option is not with respect to ethylene. It is a function of auxin hormone. So I hope this particular option is an incorrect one. And for this particular question, since they ask us to find the incorrect statement, option B is correct. Whereas if you check rest of the two options, leaf and foot... Uh, Obsession. Yes, it is a uh, uh, function of this particular ethylene hormone and suppression of senescence. Okay, so if you take ethylene hormone, depending upon the amount or concentration of ethylene, it will be suppressing a senescence or sometimes it will be promoting the senescence. Okay, but generally ethylene abscisic acid, ja jasmonic acid, salicylic acid, they will be promoting the senescence, whereas cytokine, they will be suppressing the senescence. So I don't know whether option B is correct or whether option B is correct because both the statement absolutely option B is incorrect one because it is a function of oxygen hormone okay so for this particular question option b is the correct one 
Next number of chromosome at the end of metaphase 1 of meiosis and metaphase 2 of meiosis. So, correct answer is 4 chromosomes will be present in metaphase 1 and 2 chromosomes will be present in metaphase 2. So, if you remember this particular formula sheet, so in the previous days of examination, I had uploaded an important problems for the bar examination. So, in that I had shared this particular formula sheet. So, if you check in metaphase 1, the total number of chromosomes will be 2n, whereas in metaphase 2, the number of chromosomes will be red x because metaphase meiosis 1 is the separation of homologous chromosome and meiosis to is a separation of your sister chromatids okay so correct option is 4 comma 2 okay so then for rest of the question we'll be discussing the answers as soon as possible so thank you friends thanks for watching this video